Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Spartan Fire and today we are playing um, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Uh, I have both of the DLCs, as far as I'm aware there are only two. Um, certainly hope I'm not missing one, I hate having an incomplete game, one way or the other. Uh, okay, so like I was saying, today we are playing a map with four stars and I think they it listed closing on 59 planets in total. Now, the the ways that um, we can win this game are I have capital victory and flagship victory. Um, the difference between them, obviously capital, uh, refers to your capital planet. For example, this planet here is my capital. Uh, the oh look it also has a bonus jump field generator. Now as I was saying the what the yeah what the um, capital victory essentially means is that I cannot change what my capital planet is. I, I can't move it. That capital is my capital. If it gets captured, then I will lose it. I, I don't get a choice in that. I, I, I will lose it. That's it. That's that. It's out there. I'll find it. And if I lose the capital, uh, that was end game. Um, the other one is flagship victory. Flagship victory Easily done. Get, enables you to it's start off there. With a capital ship that has a mass is heavily upgraded. Um, this is the one I have. It's a coal class battleship. Uh, sorry, flagship. Um, it is a capital ship. It's rather decent design. Uh, it's very useful. Now, the thing about the flagship victory. Oh, look at that. Dedicated towards grey population or industry. I think I'll hold off on that for the meantime. Uh, now, yes, as I was saying, uh, flagship victory means that this flagship is heavily upgraded and heavily armoured. But, and this is a but, if I am not careful and I do lose my flagship, it's also game over. Um, Structure complete. Yeah, so I, I have to be careful of two things here. I found an ice planet and an asteroid. Okay. Um, for those of you that haven't played this game, and I'm sure there will at least be a few, um, the way this game works is uh, with ice planets you need to research um, for example, where is it? It is... Yeah, there it is. Arctic Exploit... Exploitation. Excuse me! Reporting for duty. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, Fever. Structure complete. Yeah, so highlighted is Arctic Exploitation. That enables me, as it says a little further down, to colonize ice planets. I also have... Uh, greenhouse exploitation that allows me to colonize greenhouse planets and ferrous exploitation that allows me to colonize Reporting ferrous planets duty. the same is uh, applicable with volcanic planets and oceanic um, yeah so that basically means I cannot colonize them until I research now hit like I said Caldea uh, I think it's Caldea or Caldea is a nice planet I cannot colonize it this is an undiscovered world so we don't know this is an asteroid called Petronus. Ugh, kind of stealing names from Harry Potter there. Uh, Petronus is an asteroid, and asteroids can be colonised. Um, when you think about it, obviously it should be colonised. They're probably one of the easiest things to colonise when you're not talking about when you're talking about you different environments, since we have space stations already. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, since we have space stations already, it should kind of be obvious that we'd be able to build in a environment 
where there is no environment, since that's literally where the space station is built. Um, ice planets, it doesn't quite make sense, I guess, because where we are now, even we can inhabit ice planets, but I think the reason why it doesn't enable us to colonize them immediately is probably because of the whole point of every planet is an individual. It produces its own food, um, I believe, or at least that's how it's supposed to be in the background of this game. Um, oh, the jump field generator's an artifact. Okay, well, that makes things a lot easier, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I have room for a single colony ship. I hope that is not too loud. Now, the different classes of co capital ships we have is the coal battleship, which I already have one of, a Sova carrier, an Akan battlecruiser, a Donov battlecruiser, a Marza dreadnought, and a Kursev battlecruiser. Now, I think I would like a Marza Dreadnought because they are very useful, especially when you come across a planet that is currently inhabited by another uh, faction or people. Give the order. So, Ready for take all of these, That's more like send them it. here so that we can then attack these. This is a uh, siege fr frigate. Uh, a Krosov siege frigate, sorry. As you can see on the bottom, it has a large turret. Now, from what I've... I think the way this thing works is that essentially this is a frigate and that turret is probably of a battleship class or something and it's just been fitted on what uh, could be known as a spinal mount ship, which means the ship is built around the weapon. That's literally the explanation of or rather the meaning of a spinal mount. As you can see, it is a rather hefty ship in its own right, especially with the large weapon underneath. I think that is too loud. Um, oh look, I can record games in game. Wish I knew that. Music, effects... I'll put it down to that, that should be okay. Oh, my friend's online. Yeah, so... Um, I, I believe that's essentially what it is. As such, it is incredibly useful against frigates and relatively useful against cruisers. This here is a light frigate. This is what I'm using myself over there. Now, most independent planets are of the tech user ships from the tech faction, uh, which... Is it tech? It's this. It, Terran. Im no, sorry, it's the. Tr oh, look, I've got an achievement. I believe tech stands for Terran Emergency Coalition, which was. Um, yeah, it's just something that was formed. Um, I am playing as the Loyalists. And um, if you're wondering what I mean by that, if you know the game, Sorry if I have to explain this. Um, the whole point of Sins or Solar Empire Rebellion is that the game literally it gives you two factions for every faction you had originally. Um, now what that means is where you had the Trade Emergency Coalition, I think it's called that, you now have the ones that are just want to are incredibly xenophobic and they want to hide, they don't want the war anymore, they want peace. But I don't believe they want interaction. So, as such, they are the rebels. And then you have the loyalists who want to continue the war. I believe that's how it goes either way. Um, right now I'm just going through the research lists. Because uh, they can be incredibly useful. Um, I just upgraded my planet. These are like planetary upgrades that can affect the entire gravity well and the individual area in its own right. Um, I want a colony frigate. Can I get one colony frigate? Not got enough crystal. Okay, let's buy some crystal. Oh, sorry, I sold crystal there. Whoops. Okay. 
Good day, Commander. Okay, as you can see from here... Yeah, you, you see, there's a special modified with extra durability and unique abilities. Um, yeah, there's the sun. It's called Car Cara or Chara. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to call it Chara just because I think it sounds a little bit nicer. Here is our ship. Um, I'm going to give it the raised planet ability. That'll make it means that it will be easier for me to uh, conquer to enemy planets. Now what was I saying before? Oh yes, like you have the, te the Trade Emergency Coalition and it has the Loyalists and the Rebels, it's also the same with the Advent and... Oh god, I can't believe I've forgotten this. Um, the, the, these gentlemen... Um, I've, I've actually, I can't believe this. I've completely forgotten what their name is. God, that's going to bite me in the butt in the comments. Uh, the advent were some humans that were, came from a uh, thought to be lost colony, I believe, originally. And uh, when humans found them, they were um, disgusted, disturbed by what they were seeing. Um, as I'm sure some people actually know, um, when it comes to human behavior we don't like what we don't understand we tend to fear it and attack it as such this is what happened between the trade emergency coalition and the advent when they found the advent the advent are a species of humans that have evolved slightly ah there's this wormhole okay that means i can barricade this place up real nicely um yeah so they they Evolved slightly day, beyond Commander. what normal humans what now? should be capable Based of to, to the extent Ready that uh, they, they actually had psychic yes, abilities. And, um, well, as you can imagine, Ready this forward. didn't go down that well with, um... A new colony has been oh, yep. And as you can see here, you got the little colony ships landing. Now, what was I saying? Yes. As you can imagine, humans did not like this. They just made them all the more afraid. Have I already gone to explore the other systems? I thought we needed to research... Ooh, I love the look of Alturf and... Kous, or Kaus. Chaos. Cultural expansion, the... Uh... Where to now? A cultural explosion. Oh, forgive me. Uh, we've got quite a few planets, uh, stars actually. Okay, well this just means it's going to be an entertaining series because I plan to win this entire thing. Um, now one thing I will let you know is my tactics in these type of games tend to be Structure a combination of, um, of tur what's known as a turtle strategy and a steamroller strategy. A turtle strategy is, it liter literally, if you think about it, you will be able to find out what a turtle strategy is. Oh dear, there's also one there. A turtle strategy is effectively when you build up your defenses in a certain area. to So, um, literally create like a impenetrable fortress, I suppose would be the word. Um, yeah, that's the turtle strategy. The steamroller strategy. Oh, look, some space junk. Space junk is not colonizable, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, as I was saying, a steamroller strategy is literally, when you think about it, if you're standing in front of a steamroller, uh, there's no one behind the wheel, but it is moving towards you. Even if it comes up to you, it's going to roll right over you, and you're going to die. That's literally, I hate saying that, I know it's really blunt, but that is literally the steamroller strategy. I build up a massive army, or navy, space force, whatever, and I head straight to the enemy base in which I literally try to, well, literally just ride right over them. Now let's see, who do I not like? I don't like the Nitium Rebels, mainly because they are Rebels and we are Loyalists, so I'm going to create a small bounty. 
this bar here, when it finally goes down to zero, um, pirates will then attack um, the rebels. Um, yeah, that's one thing you actually have to be careful of. Because if you are not... Are they auto-placing? I don't want to auto-place. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I came across this a little bit ago. Auto-place, team colours, cargo... Gravity well phase lines uh, cinematic mode. Nah. Camera, 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 show, show, show. Okay, it's not their key bindings. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. I am gonna have to quickly go through this. I've come across this issue before in the past, but I cannot remember how I sorted it. Toggle auto attack, group phase jump, scuttle, create fleet. Ah, scuttle, shift S. Okay, that's useful to know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, auto attack for fleet cohesion, upgrade ability, add squadron, remove squadron, planet builds. I would think it'd be somewhere along there. Or here. Okay, it's K. Or oh, I could have just pressed that in the end. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, so I need to go into... Here, let's see. Improved arid high density. Yeah, you see, ladies and gentlemen, impending pirate raid. This is the, how you make use of the pirates. Um, modular architecture, structures improved. That's the cost decrease. Uh, all capital ships improved. Population increase. That affects the. Um, money you get from tax because I believe the only way you get money in this is through tax and trade. Um, the thing with trade is it's right here, orbital commerce. You want it as soon as possible because trade can do an awful lot that will benefit your empire. I'm going to go with sensor drones right now because sensor drones are incredibly useful in the sense of they give you an extra moment to peek at the enemy. As you can see, this is a Gauss platform, um, defense platform, sorry. It is uh, reasonably useful, but in all honesty, you're better off with these. Um, I just make sure I have at least one or two around because they can, in fact, be the difference between winning and losing. Okay, I'm going to go through the wormhole. I have no idea which wormhole I'm going to end up out of. As you can see here, this is given a list of basically which capital ship flagships are still existing and which capital ships are still existing. If you destroy one, most likely the list will cross them out one way or the other. Excuse me. <laughs> I do apologise. Uh, I'm I had a uh, whisk. Um, a whiskey uh, a little bit earlier. Um, yeah. These things are incredibly quick, as you can notice, their engines are massive. They are what I would consider a very good hit and run tactics type uh, vessel. As you can see, they're actually reasonably quick. It literally looks like they've just got large boosters strapped to them, if you ask me. Okay, I'm going to limit these to 20 minutes each, ladies and gentlemen. So, for I'm now, uh, we are going to... Where? Looking for something. Well, 
What do you need to know? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game for now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please like the video itself and uh, subscribe to my channel. I have multiple game series going on, including Minecraft, Dead Island, uh, War Thunder, which should pop there every now and then. It's not a necessity. Um, what other games? Oh yes, I've also got two series on Europa Universal East 4 going on. A campaign where I'm playing as the nation of Sparta. Research it's not Iron Man mode, uh, because I I won't be able to play as Sparta otherwise. Uh, but the other series I'm doing, which is the Empire of the Rising Sun, is um, hard uh, Iron Man mode, sorry. And uh, that game does have some mods activated, but they are none that actually violate the checksum, so there's none that give you advantages you wouldn't have any other way if you were playing a different version of Iron Man mode. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching, and... Uh, Check my channel out for the next episode. Bye.